Alrighty, folks, we're going to get these Alpha Strike missions out of the way. Uh, get them done nice and quick. Uh, I'm going to try for some shorter videos. Hopefully that goes well. We'll see. You'll know by looking at the time bar, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, so, we're here in Marek Space. Uh, we're defending a base from some Steiner attackers. Uh, let's see the armies. Our second lance for the Mariks is the heavy command lance. We've got the Cyclops the Orion, and two Hermeses. Um, ways to differentiate these guys. Head head Hermes and shoulder Hermes, I guess, because <laughs> of the markings. <laughs> Heads and shoulders. Uh, you know, I use that shampoo. Let's go with that. <laughs> um, this is quite a chunky chunk of lance. Um, so hopefully they will be able to defend the base. And they will be versing some Badly painted Lyran Guard. <laughs> uh, these guys are a work in progress. Please forgive me, but I thought uh, you know we've got to have some Lyrans on the battlefield, so they're blue at least. We can we can work that out. Uh, we have got a Wolverine. We've got a Rifleman. We've got a Thunderbolt, and we've got a Commando. Um, they are pretty chunky, and um, hopefully they will uh, not be too chunky for my Marek boys. Let's get to the table. Alrighty, so this is a little bit of an alternative setup to what the uh, scenario calls for. Because I've got such a small table, uh, instead of putting it in the middle, I've put it at the back edge. Uh, and we've randomly determined uh, how many buildings and how many uh, where, where our defenders, are, uh, sorry, our attackers are setting up from. Uh, defenders were placed, attackers randomly rolled to get their set up there. Um, we've got three or four buildings, or three buildings and a, and a leopard dropship. Uh, I, each one of them has three tokens. Uh, the strike distance for this is 18. We're going to be using centimeters, not inches. So it's seven inches, but 18, 18 centimeters, just because the table is so small. This is all the room I have available to me. So hey, this is how we're going to do it. Uh, as we said, we've got our defenders here. They're, they're ready to go. Uh, and these, even though these are, I think they're only Hermes 1 minis, they're actually Hermes 2 mechs. We've got head and shoulders as discussed. Uh, pretty straightforward. Turn 1. Uh, let's do a movement phase and uh, see how we go. Okay, so at the end of the move phase, uh, we can see that the, oh, well, first of all, the uh, lowest initiative went to the Lyrians, the high initiative went to the Mariks. Uh, the walls have kind of impeded uh, our own guys <laughs> uh, a little bit because they've had to sort of come out and come around. Um, but there we go. They're pretty evenly matched in terms of movement because we've both got two units that can move 12 and two units that can move 8. So the Rifleman's going up the top to try and get some um, line of sight over these walls. Uh, to try and maybe strike these things. Uh, these guys are coming around the long way. Uh, we didn't really talk about this, but basically this is, uh, as you'll see, I'll move the camera in a second. Uh, this is kind of like going to give some partial cover, uh, I think. Uh, whereas these, you know, block line of sight. The other things block line of sight. These things uh, also block line of sight, but I think from the elevated positions we can shoot over is the plan. Anyway, um, if they're within strike distance, they can obviously do that. Otherwise, they can shoot it each other um yeah so that's the plan uh we'll get on to a shooting phase all right shooting phase number one for the lyrans reminder we're using the centimeters for range uh because my table is tiny it's teensy as my little boy would say <laughs> uh we will start with uh the rifleman if the rifleman can shoot this building uh he will Otherwise, he won't shoot, is basically how it works. <laughs> um, so, let's let's check. He needs to be within 18 centimetres, and he's just short. So, um, that movement penalty getting up onto that hill did cost him. So, he is shooting no more. Uh, the Wolverine uh, can't really see anyone. So, he's also not shooting. The Thunderbolt also can't really... So, Wolverine... <laughs> Can't really see. This is blocking. I don't know if you can see the... It's got pillars. It's a triangle shape. I don't know if you're familiar with it. So you can't really see the Orion that's there. Um, the Thunderbolt... Uh, he sort of can see these guys, but I think he's going to be out of range because the range is uh, 16 
uh, six, six centimeters. So making it centimeters makes this a very tiny table. Um, so sort of his max range is only there, so he can't really shoot either, which leaves us the commando who is in range of the Orion at a long range, uh, which will give him a plus four. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. He has plus zero damage. So in that case, <laughs> consider this the Lyran shooting phase over. <laughs> Let's uh, do the Merrick shooting phase, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. That was very productive of them. Uh, not quite fast enough. We will start with the Orion. Since we've already done the measurement, we'll start with the Orion, who will shoot at the Commando. Uh, he His TMM is four. Sorry, wait. His uh, skill level is four. The Commando's TMM is two. Um, so that's a six. Uh, he ran, so that's a zero. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. And then there is partial cover, so that's a seven. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So here we go. Uh, the Orion versus the... Oh, and long range, we should say as well. So that's 10. There we go. No, that's 11. We need 11s. Here we go. That is not an 11. Welcome to playing with our Jade. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, if he's at max range, there's no way these guys can actually shoot. So that's the end of the first turn. Nicely done. Okay, here we are, turn two. Not that you can see the turn counter. Bring it down here. Turn two, initiative, roll. Oh, this is for the Marics, obviously. Uh, first, okay, so they are five. Lirens, also five. Marics, five. You're playing craps with me? <laughs> All right, the Lirens rolled higher, so the Marics get to go first this time. Uh, and they are going to... Uh, they really want to try and keep this terrain between them, I think. So, uh, we are going to move the 12 centimeters to kind of get them. This guy's going to come around here a little bit. Not the most strategic move I could have made, but there you go. I think in order to force the Mariks to move first, I think this guy is going to... Um, Move himself over here. And that kind of puts a bit of threat because he can uh, he can see over. Uh, definitely, he can see these two buildings, and I think we can see that one. I think this wall's quite tall. I don't think he can see the the leopard, um, but that'll position him nicely to be able to shoot some of those buildings at least this time round. Um, in response to that, I think the I think we're going to move the. Cyclops, he'll also come out, sort of, you know, also kind of encouraging um, <laughs> the sort of other players to move, if you know what I mean. Um, now, I think the next least consequential move for the Lyrans would be to move this guy up, the Thunderbolt. I'll just double check the Thunderbolts. So I've got two, on both sides, there's two mechs that have 12 and two mechs that have eight. Um, I'm just seeing the Thunderbolt is the other mech with the eight. Alright. So, he will move up to here. In the corner here. Um, and that will force me to move someone who actually matters. And I think what we're going to do is to try and keep these guys out of the fight. I know you can't see the Wolverine hiding behind the building there. Uh, I think he's going to move his eight. I think he's going to move right up to this so we can kind of you know shoot over it <laughs> if you will <laughs> um and that i guess opens up the wolverine to be able to do his now he also has jump jets Ooh, i think we'll just we'll walk him but we'll put him here so he's got some defense and he's going to be able to take a crack at the orion's rear so that was a bit of a mistake on the orion's part whoops uh, and then that leaves the Marics with only the uh, Hermes to go. And he'll also charge up shoulders. He's going to charge up here. And um, they're going to dogpile that commando, which has to move. Now, what is the commando going to do? He's looking pretty outnumbered. <laughs> 
the smart move for him would be to retreat, wouldn't it? Um, oh, does he have jump jets? No, he does not. Yeah, I think he has to go back around. If he stays there, he's going to get obliterated. He does not have the hit points to stay there. So he's going to... Playing Liren, playing defensively, you know, where the Wolves last time were, um, you know, quite aggressive. The the Lirens are quite defensive, uh, and that's that's their moves. Uh, which leaves Marek now to resolve some combat. So, let's start with the Orion. The Orion is going to try and shoot the Thunderbolt, who is... Oh. I'm going to say just in medium range. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> we don't count from the center, do we? We don't go center to center. We go edge to edge. So, um, here we go. Uh, for base level, the Thunderbolt has a team member of only one. So, that is five. Uh, I walked slash ran, which gives me zero. Uh, it is medium range, which is plus two. So, that's sevens. And he's got... I'll give him the partial cover as well. Even though, you know, it, we... It looks like we shouldn't, but we will. <laughs> so, that's a plus one. Eights. We need eights to do some damage to the Thunderbolt. Here we go. Oh, hey. That five's back. Apparently, the number of the day is five. It's time for the number of the day. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Uh, that's a bit crap. There you go. Uh, Hermeses, uh, they are just out of range. That is very brutal. Can this guy see that guy? I don't think he can. Mm, he can. He's at extreme range. We'll give him an in... Oh, wait. If you do indirect fire, you've got to be a spotter. Well, let's say since this guy cannot be shooting, he can be a spotter for this dude. So we're doing an indirect fire. I don't know. He, now, he has two rules. He has indirect fire and mobile HQ. I don't know what Mobile HQ does, and it looks like it's like one of them super advanced rules, which is not in the main book. So, um, there you go. We're ignoring Mobile HQ. Though I think it was something about doing recon. Like, if you have Mobile HQ and stuff, you get, like, intelligence and recon and blah, blah, blah. Oh, hey, I've just realized something. Uh, I'll share with you this. Rip. We can shoot with them. I thought it was, like, 6, 12, 18, but it's 6... 2442. So, A, we could have shot last time, but B, these Hermeses can shoot. So, guess what? We're going to shoot. <laughs> so, it's medium range then. Okay, holy crap. Okay. Woo! Look at me learning the rules. That's what it's all about. Uh, four, one TMM is five. There's no partial cover between them. It's medium range, which is going to be plus two, which is sevens. So we need sevens. We'll go with heads first. Sevens. Oh my God. Six. Not enough. Uh, that, that extra bit of TMM is really helping him out. And uh, sevens again. Hey, we finally get a hit. First blood to the, uh, <laughs> to the Hermes with the shoulder pads. Uh, and he does how much damage at medium range? He does two damage at medium range. So there you go, Thunderbolt. He has a big life bar. Um, there we go. And that means that because they're shooting, we don't do spotter. We don't have to learn about indirect fire. Sorry to have wasted your time. Uh, let's return some fire, shall we? The We'll start with the Thunderbolt, since he can actually reach now. We'll, we'll increase that medium range up to 24, because uh, he definitely can reach all of them. He is going to shoot one of the Hermeses. He moved. Uh, uh, so that's a zero. His skill level is four. The Hermes is, is a TMM of two, so we're at six. Uh, we're at medium range is eight. And that's it, folks. That's all she wrote. So we need eights. Here we go. We're shooting at heads. Oh, what? The Lyrans. Man, my dice do not like the Marek team. They are like everyone else who plays Battletech. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so at medium range, the Thunderbolt does three damage. Oof. That's a big hit. We still have some health. Uh, we are okay, though. That's a big hit on the little, the medium Hermes mech. Uh, this guy can't see. This guy is going to rear arc our friend, the Orion. So, uh, he moved. He is definitely within short, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> this Orion's about to get burned. 
Uh, and the the TMM of uh, Orion is one. Uh, and because he's shooting in the rear, that's an extra one. So we've got four. Uh, one is five. Uh, and rear, I'll just double check that is one. I can't see it, but I swear that is the case. So we're going to do that regardless. Because <laughs> you're meant to get a bonus, right? For shooting in the rear. Anyway, uh, and I've lost track of what I was saying. Let's do that again. <laughs> Far out. Welcome to RJ's Games, where you're watching the best produced content on the internet. <laughs> okay, we're taking this again. <laughs> he is shooting him in the butt. He moved. He moved. Four skill level. Plus one for this thing. Uh, he moved. He moved, so it's a plus zero. It's a short distance. It's a... That, and he's shooting him in the bumps. So we're giving him a minus one for that. So we are looking at fours. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I'm saying that's correct. If it's wrong, put it in the bloody thing. I've got to roll these dice. Oh my goodness. The Wolverine. Wolverines. Uh, it is going to do at short range three damage to the Orion in the rear, in the butt butt. Ouch. Uh, there we go. And then we've got Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Business here is going to take a shot at that one, uh, which means I need to look at my scenario. So as you can see, uh, we did not do that. Like we're only using half the scenario map instead of the whole scenario map. Uh, and it says uh, we place first off strike distance. We it's you measure the table edge half that plus three. Um, I actually halved that again because it is such a small table and we're using centimeters. Um, uh, just otherwise, they could reach it from, like, the table edge. It would have been ridiculous. <laughs> uh, the buildings, are, we, we do 1d6 building tokens. So that's the buildings that we've put in there. Um, and we got, a, we got a 1 on the dice, and therefore plus 3 equals 4. Um, and so each building token takes 3 direct hits that can be melee or ranged before they are destroyed. Um, so... Uh, I think in this case, we don't, uh, I think we just add the range. I think it's your, there's no TMM, obviously the buildings aren't moving. Uh, if you're moving, you add your movement, uh, you add your skill level and the range. And I guess you could do like a partial cover, um, but we're not going to do that in this case. We'll just do that, okay? Because they're buildings, they're not moving. So he moved, uh, which is a zero. The building is in a medium range, so plus two. Uh, and he's got a four. So we need sixes to hit. If he gets a hit, one of those tokens comes off. He did not get a hit. Pew, pew. Uh, he was too busy climbing the mountain. Uh, there we go. Combat phase done. Turn three. Well, there's an end phase, but you know. All right. Move the camera. Give you a bit of variety for turn three. Here we go. Initiative for Marix. Double one. You can't get lower than that. Initiative for... Uh, the Lyrians, it's more than double one, so happy days. The, well, not happy days, the Marics will go first. But I guess they kind of need it. I think we're going to leave that Orion till the end. I think we're going to move... Uh, the Cyclops is going to move... He's going to come over here and kind of have have a bit of... Have a bit of defense from that one little rock that's in the way. Uh, which will then force these guys to move, I think... They're going to say that the Rifleman moves and activates and he's just going to chill there and, and pop a cap in the buildings because that's what the Rifleman's here to do. Um, now, we don't want to move the Orion because he will definitely have a bad time. Um, but I think we've got to put some pressure on this Wolverine. So whilst my plan was to kind of lay the smack down on the Commando, the Commando's running away. So we're going to move this Hermes over here uh, to kind of, you know, get him... In, in some Wolverine action. Um, though that's probably just opened up his rear arc for the Wolverine anyway, but there you go. Uh, which means these guys now have to choose. Who are they going to move? They're going to move the Commando, the Thunderbolt, or the Wolverine. Uh, I think we will move... Now that the Commando kind of has a bit of... He's going to come back out, I think. Or maybe he goes where there's backup. He's going to go with us some backup and try and get some more rear arcage on this, uh, on this Orion. Uh, the Orion. He doesn't want to move until that Wolverine does, but I don't think he's going to get a choice uh, in the matter. So the Hermes... 
Now, this is Head. He's the one that got shot last time? Yes. So he... I think he wants to put that partial cover in place there. So we might move him over here as well. Give himself a bit of partial cover from the... Uh, from from the Thunderbolt, who's doing a bit of damage, uh, which leaves us Thunderbolt or Wolverine. It's looking pretty um, busy over here, isn't it, for the old Wolverine? But you know what the Wolverine has that these guys have not taken into account is the jump jets. So he might even just jump the heck over here. And uh, now we got a fox in our hen house. Now we got some problems. He did the old jumperoo. Now I'm going to actually give him a. Give him a marker to remind myself that he jumped. Uh, look at that, using tokens, use your tokens. I hope you used your tokens, uh, which means we now have an Orion to deal with and he's got a bunch of people looking down his butt. So he's going to backpedal a bit and consolidate and at least stop presenting his bomb to people. Uh, that's gonna be his movement. And then finally, the Thunderbolt. Uh, the Thunderbolt is going to Press ahead, I guess, because he wants to... Oh, actually, is that within 18? It is. He's going to stand here, and he's going to try and shoot over that little wall. And that is going to be our movement for this turn. Okay, shooting phase. Uh, Marek lost the... Well, I keep saying lost the initiative. I don't know. It feels like a benefit to get the low number, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, I think we're going to continue with our original plan of just beating the crap out of this commando. Um, so, we're going to do that. Let's measure a distance and hope it's less than 24. Uh, the Hermes, two at the front. The shoulders has... Uh, he's at 10. He's at 14. And the Orion is at 16. So... Um, they are all going to take pot shots at him. And... Does he shoot him? Can he shoot him? He will torso twist and shoot him, I think. That is the... And he's at 16 to shoot him. So that's that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. So, let's go from here. This guy, TMM, we said I think it was two. Commandos are two TMM. Yes. Uh, okay, four plus two is six. Uh, plus distance uh so he's they're all in medium range so we're looking at eights uh there's not really any cover or anything in the way uh yeah and they all just moved normal like so there we go we need eights let's go look at me i'm getting better at it i'm getting better at these dice rolls uh here we go that's not better at the dice rolls but at least doing simple math that basic three and four year olds can do so shoulders uh misses that uh heads Oh, what is this? My dice are leering aligned. This is garbage. All right, Orion, here we go. That's a seven. One less than what we needed. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, and Cyclops. Uh, now, this is where things get complicated. So, so Wolverine jumped. So, you've got Team M2 and jump is plus one. So, plus three. Cyclops is four. Skill, so that's a seven. And it's medium range. So, we're looking at nines. Nines for this guy. Here we go. And that is a, a, a five. So no dice. Uh, all the Marek's shoot. And it's a great laser show, but literally nothing happens. Uh, <laughs> brutal. Let's have a look at uh, what's going on here. We will have... The Rifleman is just going to shoot the buildings. And the Commando will shoot um, shoulders since he's already damaged. Uh, the Thunderbolt is also going to shoot the building, and the Wolverine's going to shoot the building. They're going to stay on target. They're going to focus focus their fire on uh, what they need to do. So, let's start with um, the Commando, because his is the most complicated, I guess. He moved. The Hermes has a TMM of two. Uh, and the... So, Head. Head is the one. He's going to shoot the damaged one, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyway, TMM two. It's in medium range. Uh, and he's got a skill of four. There's nothing fancy in the way. So uh, that is sixes. Is that right? No, eights. He needs eights as well, just like he needed. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? These dice are Lirin, Lirin scum. <laughs> What's the commando doing damage on a medium range? Two. 
Okay, that puts us into structure, which puts us into critical territory. Welcome to Rolling for Critical Hits. How does that work? Bear with me while I learn a new rule. Let me double check this. I'm pretty sure it's just if you get the thing, you roll, right? Where is it? I'll come back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we are also... Uh, I, I need to make a correction. Getting hit in the rear is plus one damage, not plus one to hit. So the Orion has an additional four. I don't know, can we see it? Can I get it in the shot? Ugh, it's just there. It's got an additional bit of armor that is gone. Um, so there you go. Critical hits. We're just rolling on the critical hit table and hoping we don't get one that says get a critical hit. So what do we want? We want a, a, a five or a nine. Here we go. Five or nine. Get your craps ready. That's an 11, a 10, sorry. And that is a fire control hit. So I don't know what that does. Let's have a look. Fire control hit. Some mechanism for controlling the weapons is damaged. This could represent anything from an arm actuator, blah, blah, blah. It adds, adds a plus two to all subsequent weapon attacks uh, by the damaged unit. So he has got a fire control hit. There we go. So he's plus two. Uh, head is plus two to doing that. All right. Shooting a building. Uh, four skill, plus two range, plus one partial cover. Um, is, or did we say no partial cover? F four skill, two range. Sixes. Here we go. Uh, except for him, we'll need uh, sevens. So we'll do him first. Sevens. That was a ten. So we've got one hit on this building. Achieved. All right. Uh, Thunderbolt, we will give him the plus one partial cover because he's got this, this one here. Uh, so he also needs sevens and of course he gets a ten. Whoops. Ah! Alright, these dice are definitely on the side of the Lyrans. Uh, and the Rifleman, uh, he only needs the sixes. And oh, he, look at that! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? What is your problem with me? <laughs> I'm switching these dice out, the friggin' scum. Uh, that is turn four. Well, what's going on with my camera? It's gone crazy. <laughs> uh, turn four, here we go. All right, I'm going to switch these Lyran scumbag dice out for some, hopefully, Marrick Loyal ones, if I can find the other dice. There it is. All right, here we go. All right, initiative for Marrick. Uh, they got an seven. Uh, no, sorry, Nate. And, okay, now the Lyrans are going first. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll see how this works, eh? <laughs> see how this works out. All right, so... Um, I think this guy's just going to run back. You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you just go as far deep into the... Uh, into the... Into the... Objective. <laughs> you know, make it harder for them to hit you. Especially since it's so well defended, you know, well well fortified. Um, now, he cannot see over the big wall to the, the thing we said before. So he is actually going to have to move the, he being the, the El Rifleman Areno. Um, so we will have his movement and move him to the bottom of here. Um, but that way, you know, he's going to be able to do some shooty shooty on these, these fellows. Uh, and this guy's going to... Oh, we're meant to be alternating turns, aren't we? Uh, well, I can tell you f for nothing that, you know, given <laughs> given things have gone so south that he would move there. And uh, I think the uh, the Hermes that is damaged is also going to seek a bit of a bit of cover from the walls uh, and and sort of head head in inland, keeping his rear arc far away from these guys. As possible. All right, and that puts us up to date with where we should be. He's going to move this way. He doesn't really have a choice. Uh, and uh, okay, that means we now need to move another one. Uh, I think this Hermes... He wants to get behind there because he also has low hit points, right? So he does not want to get shot at by the Rifleman, who you can't see, I've discovered. Hang on, let's do a bit of this one. There we go, a bit of... Bit of live camera work there, live directing, uh, and that leaves us with the the commando who 
has taken a little bit of damage, but not really that much because my guys can't hit. Actually, he's taken zero damage. Well, he feels invincible in that case, and he's just going to come charging up and trying to trying to make a break for it. Um, yeah, which means the Orion. What's the Orion going to do? I think, you know what, the Orion. The Orion is going to do this and, and make use of rear arc damage multipliers whilst also not presenting his rear arc to the enemy uh, mechs. There we go. Now uh, we get to do all the Lyran shooty shooty phase, uh, and they're here to destroy buildings. Uh, they came here to destroy buildings and take names, so we're going to do that. Um, this guy will start here. He's going to shoot building number one. He has, uh, like, basically fours. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> fours. <laughs> here we go. Can he get a four on two dice? Of course he can. Here you go. Take some damage. Uh, and now this is where things get a bit funky. Uh, the commando is going to... Is he within strike distance of building three? Yes, he is. He's going to shoot at building three. Uh, I don't know if you can see the numbers on top of them, but a long time ago I painted numbers on them so they are uh, easy to kind of differentiate. Now, he moved, uh, and there is partial cover in the way, so we will give... Uh, and it will be at um, medium range, so we're going to have uh, four plus two plus one is sevens. Here we go. Get your traps ready. Exactly seven. That's a hit. And who else do we have? Um, Thunderbolt is going to take a shot at... I think he's going to shoot at, at head. And he's going to be in medium range. That medium range is huge. Um, <laughs> there you go. What can I say? Seven inch advantage. <laughs> Get your shirts. <laughs> TM2. Uh, he moved. The distance is two. So we're adding four. Oh, we're adding five uh, onto fours, nines. Nines. Here we go. What? My dice betray me. This is brutal. Medium damage for a Thunderbolt is too much. I think that guy is smoked. Oh, it's very, very much the smoked. <laughs> He's toast. T O A S T, toast. Ouch. Uh, yeah, and the rifleman's going to shoot at the Orion, and he is going to be in medium range as well. The Orion's TMM, we've already established, is one, and I just lost my dice. Are you kidding me? Not only do these dice betray me, but they've run away. They've run away before they're even going to be able to... They've deserted before they can even serve the Marek's purposes. <laughs> so, TMM1, this guy moved, uh, and we're looking for... It'll be medium range, and there's no other terrain modifiers, so we're adding three, so it's sevens. And that's not a seven. Pew, pew, finally. Uh, maybe they just don't like the people going first. <laughs> All right, Marek's turns. So let's get rid of this stupid ca catapult thing. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, is that going to be... Yeah, six is pretty small when you're playing in centimeters. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't got more than seven inches, so it doesn't get seven inch advantage. So it is a medium range, um, which is good because that's actually the sweet spot for the Orion. Uh, and he, he moved the commando is two. There's no other terrain in the way, so we're looking at nines. Here we go, nines. Ciao. That is not a nine. Dice! What is wrong with you, Dice? Why do you hate me? Why am I forsaken? <laughs> ah, the whole plan was like, yeah, let's just stack on the little guy, and it just has not worked at all. The Hermes, and it's not because he's TMM, like if he was a spider or something like, with a massive TMM, I could understand, but it's like, just, there's no, no excuse. <laughs> right, Hermes moved. What are we doing? We're looking at the same thing. Nines, kapow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Critical miss. 
All right, Cyclops, same thing. Nines, here we go. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Well, that's it for turn four. <laughs> Far out. The Marricks just cannot win. They cannot win. What is wrong with these stupid purple chickens? <laughs> All righty. Some initiative for turn five. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Now, just a quick update on the objectives. If the Lyrans get destroy one more point of tokenage of the building's objective marker, uh, that's it. The Marics can't win because they the objective is they have to keep fifty percent or alive or better. So they need to do some things to stop people from. Um, Blowing stuff up in in summary, which I can't see that not happening. So this could be that this is probably going to be the last turn, and I'll almost certainly the Lyrans are going to win. So anyway, here we go. Initiative, Marek. They got double one, so they'll be moving first and shooting first at least. So they're in with the best chance, unless this is also a double one, which it's not. It's a six. Okay, so I should not put dice directly behind the rock. Uh, there we go. So they will move first. What are we going to do? And we're down a unit too. Um, so we are going to move. I think. I think the Hermes wants to present a like nice target for this guy because we don't want him trying to shoot in. Not that he really can. Um, and that's going to be his movement. I think they're just going to activate this guy because why wouldn't you? In fact, he might even do one of these ones and be a bit sneaky and get back behind there and get cover from the actual building itself. Uh, yeah, far out. The They have four and I have two, so I have to move two now. The Thunderbolt is going to... Thunderbolt will just move down this way, I think, and quite happily um, meet with this this Hermes. What is the Thunderbolt's sweet spot? He will move into the sweet spot, which short range is fine for him, so he's definitely going to get right up in the, in the Hermes' face, uh, which means now I have to activate someone, which will be uh, the Cyclops. I think the Cyclops is just going to stand here and be like, hey, bro, what are you going to do about it? Uh, and that now forces them to activate someone, uh, which they're going to activate the slow-moving rifleman. We'll go there. Um, and sort of be like, hey, the, he's going to tempt the Orion to try and, you know, do some rear-up shenanigans. And he's doing that knowing that he won't die, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, he can't die from a shot, even if he gets it. Like, it might get... It doesn't even get into structure, so he's going to try and use his armor. But... The pilot of the Orion is not stupid enough for that, and he is going to activate there like that and just be like, nah, I'm going to shoot this stupid commando, which leaves the commando to move, who is going to move... Where would I move if I were the commando? You know what? He's going to move in, so he gets at least some partial cover and maybe present not his rear arc to them. Uh, and that is going to be the movement. Onto the shooting. Uh, which Marek get to do first. We are going to start here with the Hermes. The Hermes uh, move. The Thunderbolts TMM is one. Uh, it's a short range. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? So we've got four plus two uh, plus zero. Oh, wait, plus one. Sorry. Wait, why have we got two? we got four plus one. Fives. We can do a five. Come on, we've done nothing but fives. If this is not a five, these dice are 100% Lyran, and I'm going to melt them. Yeah, see, look. Look at that. They they are... Oh, where, where have we got? we got a two and a six. There you go. The, the threat of violence is effective for these dice. And I made the foolish mistake of shooting the one guy that doesn't actually receive too much. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't matter. He can take all the damage he wants. Uh, two points of damage on the Thunderbolts. Uh, that was a strategic error. I should have tried to shoot the, uh, the commando. <laughs> Which, would he have been in range? Yeah, because 24 is there. So he would have been in range. 
So I should have shot the commando, uh, but there you go. I got distracted. See, the Lyrian's tactic of distracting me worked. Let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the Cyclops and commando battle. All right, the Cyclops is going to shoot at the commando. Uh, the commando's TMM is two. The Cyclops moved. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying this. They moved. You know what I mean? Like I guess it's because they don't get the whatever it is the minus four thing to to shoot. Uh, you know, if they don't move. Standstill is a minus one. There you go. Why am I saying minus four? So, we've got fours, plus uh, one, plus that. Doesn't, is that within six? Oh, look at that. It is. Okay, it's just within six, so we're going to be short. Uh, hopefully that's good for... Oh, we want it to be just out, but there you go. Whatever. Oh, yeah. That's frustrating. Because <laughs> if it was in long... If it was in medium... Uh, that would be like a, it would kill the Cyclops, uh, the, the, the commando with one hit. Um, so there you go. What a pain. It is within things. So it's easy to hit, but it won't kill him. Uh, his TMM's one. There's nothing else that we need to worry about, I guess. So, um, we've got fives. And as we said, it can roll fives, right? Look at that. Sixes. That's good that we went short because otherwise we wouldn't have hit him. Uh, so there you go. But these dice, man, they're, they're on the edge. That's three damage, which means we've got a structure, a critical critical hit. Now, it has case, though. What does case do as a special equipment? If you know, see if you can beat me to it. What's case do for special equipment? It is here in the book. Case. Uh, ch -ch -ch Units with this ability minimize catastrophic effects from ammunition explosion. So if it gets ammo hit, uh, it will suffer... It can survive an ammo hit critical. So if we get an ammo hit critical, it still survives. All right, so our criticals. Here we go, critical hit table. We want to actually blow him up. So let's see how we go. We want a 12. Come on, double sixes. Uh, that is a 8, which is weapon hit. Weapon hit. Which does what? Weapon hit. This hit represents destruction of a number of weapons that affected unit. All damage values, including those of special abilities, have damage values that are reduced by one. For units with multiple attacks, each weapon hit critical, blah, blah, blah. Well, we don't have multiple attacks. But there you go. Weapon hit. Minus one damage. For Mr. Commando. Which is good. He only does one damage. Not that it matters for his... Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> it doesn't matter for him. Uh, and the Orion is uh, going to finish him off. He needs partials and two. So he's plus three to that. So he needs eights. Here we go. Ka-chow. That's not an eight. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? What did I do to you dice? I am never using these dice again. I'm going to take them and I'm going to melt them in the sun. Uh, he shoots and misses the commando entirely. Uh, there you go. And you know what? If it wasn't for that partial cover, he would not have got... Like, he would have been fine. But that partial, this this wall... The, the, our own defences got in the way. Let's very quickly roll. We've got three people who can shoot. Uh, they all need, what, fours, fives. This guy needs fours. The others need... Uh, well, he needs, uh, that's probably a four as well. Yeah. Okay, we need, we need to roll three times. Two of them, the first two, if they're four or less, they win. If, uh, the last guy is six or less, he wins. Oh, seven or less. Okay, here we go. Four or less. There you go. Liren's win the game. I don't even need to see the second dice. <laughs> ah. Just for good measure. Oh, look, Commander got snake eyes. That's fair enough. And this guy who needed sevens. Yeah, these dice are definitely Lyran, Lyran dice. If you want a pair of Lyran dice, uh, <laughs> head to Patreon. Send me a message and say that you're a Lyran supporter. The first person <laughs> to send me that will get these scumbag Lyran dice sent to them. Uh, okay. That is the end of the round, I guess, uh, and the game is over. We'll call that over. Now, like, in theory, we could be, like, play continuing play to see, like, how much salvage and things we get. 
uh, an extraction and, and whatnot. But uh, in this instance, that's only going to result in my guys losing more, more units. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I suffer more from that. As you can see, this is the dice rolls that I get. Like, I'm not... This is... These are not magic dice. There is no magic here. <laughs> this is how... What happens every time I play, unless I'm being, like, super competitive and aggressive and believing in the heart of the cards. Uh, this is what it's like for me. <laughs> Let's roll a d6 to see how many of, of this guy we get. We want to get high. It's a d3, actually, but anyway. Oh, we get two for the Hermes uh, in, in terms of his repair stuff. We'll work out what we're going to do with that next week uh, with that information, but we will scratch that. And we get two Hermes pieces. Two out of three. Um, because I think we'll do that, that affects the repair cost, you know what I mean? Uh, thanks very much for watching along, and I'll see you in the next video. Here I am, mortified after that game. I cannot believe how badly the dice were. They just would not hit for those Marit guys whatsoever. No hits whatsoever. Oh, man, I, you know, it's, what did I do wrong? You tell me in the comments. If you think you had a better strategy that would have saved the day, you tell me what I should have done, uh, apart from have dice that were loyal to uh, the Free Worlds League. <laughs> House Merrick. Oh my goodness. I cannot, like, this is what happens when I play games. This is why I don't get angry when I play games, because if I did, I would just be fuming the whole time. I cannot believe I got rotted. Uh, now, this is quite quick for me on my end. I, after the edit, hopefully it's quick for you and not too long. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into the next game, which is probably also going to result in another Marek defeat. Uh, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who hate Marek. We're like, yeah, suck it, you stupid purple chicken. Uh, but there you go. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, if you want to see anything in particular, let me know.